program is all about, uh, and where we have come uh, to date in the process to get us all here tonight. So America's Best Communities is a uh, contest, if you will, in which Frontier Communications has put $10 million in cash and prizes to assist communities uh, across their 27 state footprint to be creative, innovative, and to put together community plans that will transform um, the economic development activities to promote long-term growth. And the sponsors of, um, in addition to Frontier Communications, is CoBank, the Weather Channel, and Dish Network. So back in, I'm gonna say November, December of 2014, we entered into this contest and put together an application in which 135 communities had the opportunity to submit a uh, plan for a community revitalization plan. And from there, uh, in March of 2015, there were 50 quarter finalists, and we're one of 50 quarter finalists from across the 27 state footprint. And those are communities that have populations between 9,500 and 80,000 um, residents. Next steps. In November, we will be submitting, based on the information that we collect from you, we'll be putting together our strategy, and we will submit that on November 6th to a independent panel at Frontier that will judge our application. There'll be 15 semi-finalists, eight finalists, and then at the end, if we go to the next round, there are gonna be three grand prize winners that can get anywhere between one million and three million dollars to implement and fund that community action plan. So this is really exciting for us. Um, our applicant under our um, application was Metro Action, which is an affiliate here at the Chamber of Commerce. Our plan is based on Eds and Meds development. Bob talked a little bit about that in his opening remarks uh, with the growth of uh, the hospitals, the healthcare um, industry sector here, and many of you might be aware, some here new, some will not. The Northeast Pennsylvania Regional Bioscience Initiative has allowed us to grow the bioscience industry sector here regionally. It made sense to go ahead and build our uh, application based on that platform. Also, when you look at the colleges and universities and the investments that they have made in the community, um, it just made sense to bridge the as and meds development together. And our area of focus is downtown Scranton um, as a footprint. The application was built on three core areas, which is what we're focusing our community engagement uh, meetings around its economic development, community development, and workforce development. And the strategy in the end is really an economic development strategy. But we felt that community development, what, what does that mean? It's infrastructure, lighting, activities that Scranton Tomorrow is doing, engaging the business community. Workforce development, that goes hand in hand with economic development. We need to train the appropriate workforce for the positions that we have today and the needs of, of the future. This is a map of what the downtown core for this application looks like, and everyone has a copy in their packet. Uh, you can see that it goes all the way from Mount Pleasant Corporate Center, where Lackawanna Heritage Valley Trail is, uh, which is across from Scranton High School. It takes us all the way up to uh, the Everhart Museum, um, Guy Singer, up, up at the top of Mulberry Street, and then as far over as Lackawanna Avenue, and it takes us over to um, to the Commonwealth Medical College, and you can also see Marywood and outlying areas are included, um, Penn State, as well as um, uh, see the hospitals, and you see TCMC. So what we've done to date, once we got the announcement that we are a quarter finalist, we put together a core committee, and on the bottom are all of our partners, and it's partners from government, higher education, um, business development, the city, County and the Chamber of Commerce, and we brought us together and we developed a series of six roundtable meetings, so which we're here for tonight. Last week we held one economic development with a great brainstorming session. And tonight, community development, Thursday, workforce development. And we'll be hosting in September a second follow-up to these, these three areas. So what are our objectives and why do we have to be here today? So what we want to do is find out, we're currently trying to get together, is what are the current initiatives that your organizations and its partners are doing? Do you have strategic plans? What are your goals for the next five years? Um, what, what are you actively doing? We'd like to get those strategic plans, so if you can share those with us. Um, if you can identify any future initiatives that you see that would enhance our economic vitality. Um, and we'll do that in the brainstorming sessions today. And then the idea and result 
proposals is to build a plan that includes Scranton tomorrow schools, um, University of Scranton, Penn State. Everybody has a comprehensive action plan that everyone has bought into that allows us to all collectively move forward into the future. And does it necessarily mean that the Chamber of Commerce will do those activities? Scranton tomorrow might take a piece, TechBridge might take a piece, Chamber might take a piece, whatever that ends up being, but we are all working in the same direction. We all have buy-in. Um, with that, I'm going to turn it back over to John. Okay. Great. How about any questions of all that um, <coughs> avalanche of information that was just sent your way? Any questions about it? We we are um, we are one of the six sessions that we're planning for here to kind of pick your brain and and get. Um, get the information for you. So how are we going to specifically do that today? Well, our goal is to break you up into um, two smaller groups so that we can zero in on these areas specifically. So we're gonna ask you to focus on it question by question, thought by thought. I'm gonna ask uh, a volunteer recorder in each of the groups to kind of write down, jot down those ideas as they're discussed. And then when we're finished with that overall uh, um, more focused discussion in these areas, we're gonna ask you to report out so that we can capture all of your good ideas and um, make sure that we get them into Amy's hands and Bob's hands and Penny's hands and everybody else is gonna craft this next step for um, convincing uh, these organizations that Scranton is uh, one of America's best communities. Um, so our goal is to have that completely finished and have you out of here by 6.30. If it happens before that time, that's okay, that's okay. Um, before we leave you, uh, let you back out the door, we're gonna ask you to prioritize what you think are some of the um, more salient or more um, exciting priorities up that we're gonna give you three blue polka dots and you're gonna, um, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, express your priorities that way. So how about any questions on the logistics or for the goals 